Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing well. I am Alia Banu. I hail from Lucknow, Uttar Pradesh. This year, I have secured All India Rank Six in UPSC Combined Geoscientist Examination. Also, I have qualified Gate 2021 and CSIR Net GRF 2020 with an All India Rank of 70. So this was about me and my recent achievements. About academics, I have completed my graduation in geology from University of Lucknow and I have completed my post-graduation in applied geology from the same university. And I have also been a student of Faisal Sir. So here I am sharing some of my experiences and I really hope that you get something out of it and it helps you in your journey as well. So yeah, let's get started and I will be specific towards UPSC geoscientist exam because prelims are on the way. So yeah, uh, let's get started. The first and foremost thing to do is to know your syllabus. You know, you have to keep your syllabus in front of you throughout your journey. It is very important. See, you cannot win a game if you don't know the rules sir, and math. So it's very important for you to at least know the format and the topics that you need to cover in order to give your exam. And UPSC has clearly defined its syllabus and nothing comes out of the syllabus. Everything is confined in those three to four pages of syllabus. So yeah, study the exam before studying for the exam, you know. And the second thing is focus on your weakest area first. You know, there will be some topics and subjects that you are weak in or least interested in it so just prepare them first so you have enough time to clear your concepts and have basic understanding of everything you know i remember there was a question um, uh, on weiss and miller ndcs and you know in that question just merrily writing a one line definition won't fetch you marks you know it might look like a factual question, but if your concepts are not clear, concepts about axes, concepts about faces orientations, open forms, closed forms, you know, you cannot elaborate your answer. So you need to be very thorough in your concepts. And it can be any subject. It can be stratigraphy for some. It can be paleontology. It can be optical mineralogy. Whatever it is, prepare it first. The third thing is, make notes of each and everything i cannot stress enough on this part you know and i would suggest you to make notes on each and every topic given in the syllabus whether you consider it important or you consider it trivial doesn't matter just make notes out of it you know uh, there is a topic of springs in hydrogeology paper so i prepared springs uh, for my mains examination and i was asked about springs in the means, I was asked about springs in my interview as well. So I was able to answer that question in interview because I already prepared it for means. I didn't prepare it separately. So you know, when you'll make notes, it will eventually help you in your interview as well. And always try to read from the most standard books, you know. It might overwhelm you at first, but eventually you will start enjoy, enjoying reading it. So... Yeah, you need your answers to be up to the mark. So always go for the most re reliable sources available to you. And the last but the most important thing is the revision. Revision is indeed the key. You know, it doesn't matter how much you study, how long you study. It will only make sense if it is retained in your memory. And revision will help you doing that. So revise everything properly. You can revise on a weekly basis. You can revise on a monthly basis. It's all up to you. But revise everything. Because your revision will only help you to write answers during your mains examination in those three hours. You know, you get only three hours to write and there is so much to write that you can't get enough time to think and create a completely new answer. Your revision will help you there to write the answers, you know. So these are some steps that you must take to amp up your preparation. And if you go by the structure of the UPSC geoscientist exam, it is divided into three stages, prelims, mains, and interview. Prelims again has two papers, GS paper and geology paper. So GS I prepared partially by app and partially by myself. 
and I kept myself updated with current affairs. Current affairs is very important, you know, because one, it will help you, it will eventually help you to know what is happening around the world. And second, also, it will serve the purpose of clearing your prelims only. So, you know, just be updated with current affairs. And there were questions uh, 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 from current affairs in the exam as well. There were questions on pollinator park very current question on vaccination very obvious question question on head of serum institute of india so these were some you know these were current questions current affairs related question so focus on that and for the static portion just have basic knowledge of everything from polity history geography biology physics uh, you know general sciences just have basic knowledge of everything so and so that the question uh, if comes like tincture of iodine you can answer it endoplasmic reticulum these are some basic questions that you will be able to answer so prepare it in at such a level that you have a basic knowledge of everything for geology portion geology of uh, graduation level will help just prepare it well and solve previous year questions of objective nature of any source be it jam previous year questions or there are many books which have objective questions in them just solve them it will help you in your prelims and mains is all about your writing skills how well and how correct you write your answers you know and try to attempt all the questions do not leave any question unattempted you know i was told by my mentor that if you will leave any question unattempted, it will be a suicide committed by you. So I'm passing it to you all that do not leave any question unattempted, okay? And do not focus too much on beautification of your answers. See, if your answer is up to the mark, it is authentic, you know, it will outshine all the pink and purple and neon colored pens, you know? So just focus on the authenticity of your answers. And I use just one blue dot pen and a pencil. Pencil for the purpose of making uh, diagrams. And see, even the students who use uh, colored pens, you know, they have their content solid. So it's, it's just a cherry on the cake kind of thing, okay? So yeah, just, just focus much on your content. Your content, your answer you uh, you know structured answer will compensate for everything and i even made some diagrams by pen itself you know when i had time constraints i just uh, you know took the pen and i just made the diagram by itself so yeah and uh, then interview interview is the most enriching experience of the entire upsc journey and you know you you get to enter the upsc bhavan and you get to sit in front of some immense personalities so it is one of you know it is a once in a lifetime experience so cherish it cherish it you know fully and um, interview is all about your personality that is why it is called personality test and uh, see personality is something that you cannot change or you cannot develop overnight so if you think that there is something in you that you need to work upon, it can be your communication skills, it can be your voice modulation, it can be your body language, it can be your facial expressions, whatever it is. If you think that you need to work upon something, start working on it from today itself so that you can develop that personality trait by the time you get an uh, interview call, hopefully. So yeah, and also, just because it is called personality test it does not mean that they are not going to ask you technical questions they are going to ask you questions related to geology and hydrogeology because eventually your personality will shine through your content only so yeah prepare it well and be prepared for any question they can ask you any question from anywhere so my interview started with my name and then it proceeded, the chairman uh, proceeded it with, uh, you know, the Tamiz and Tehzeeb element of Lucknow. Because obviously I come from a city which is 
all about its culture, etiquettes and manners. So that uh, and then it went to my hobbies and then it was full technical interview with questions from hydrogeology questions like how will you prepare groundwater map of your city? What measures, what artificial recharge method you will use to uh, in for your city for recharge of groundwater and uh, aquifers, water tables, springs, mostly everything related to hydrogeology. I was asked and I was able to answer, uh, you know, questions because obviously I was competing for the post of hydrogeologist. So I prepared it well. So yeah, there will be many students who would be interested uh, only in the post of hydrogeologist. So if you are competing for it, prepare hydrogeology very well, you know, because that will be the deciding factor in your selection. So yeah, prepare it well and gear up and work hard, stay consistent. You know, consistency is very important because there will be days when you will not feel to study or you will not be able to study god forbid you might get ill or any catastrophic event happens then your consistency will help you to compensate for that days you know a uh, second wave had some strange affection for my city uh, you know for lucknow and it impacted me it impacted my family in the most terrible way it can I could not study for a couple of months. I just had June in my hand and 15 days of July and I studied in it. So yeah, be consistent so that uh, if your low moments come or if the days that you could not study, those days come, it can be compensated. And just trust the process and enjoy the process. You know, this phase of preparation won't last forever. So and now when i look back i find 2021 as the most amazing year of my life you know and i'm technically not a student anymore and it fills me with immense nostalgia so just cherish this phase of preparation and you know you're going to make it you all are going to make it for sure so yeah just just study and all the very best and thank you so very much